Hi, this is Dominic from Paphos Life, and today I'm at the Mutalos Cliffs. And man, I'll be having a little look at the chapel up there. It's Monday, so the restaurant here isn't open. Make sure my car's locked. But we'll go and explore the area there, so at least I can film there without interfering with anyone's sort of lucky. There are a couple of statues this side as well. I'll show you briefly. Now I thought I'd film up here because it'd make a change on the way down to the seafront for my ritual filming. I can cut through the garden to have a look at the fountain you know, with like a decent water feature. The sprinkles won't come in to play. Yes, this area's been done up nicely. Leave the cliffs. And I did an article on the restaurant itself and a while ago. And I seem to remember you could actually order from uh, beaches and they're delivered to you. Not quite sure what they would actually, uh, what beaches were covered. In fact, you could get something except for Coral Bay, for instance. There's a nice little fountain. There's seating area and fans up there. We go to the restaurant area itself and we'll cross the road to the chapel. It's just gone midday. So yet again I picked the hottest day, hottest part of the day to go for a walk. I must be secretly trying to biff up my tan. There's a play area there that's a lot nicer than I remembered it to be. I know we do have a bouncy castle here as well. Oh, it's kind of deflated at the moment. Right, up that road is the main Mutlos area, which we've driven through on numerous occasions. Gosh, it's hot. But this is the chapel I wanted to show you. Very nice. There's more to it than meets the eye as well. Carefully walking down the steps. Right, I'll film the inside at the end because I'll need to change lens settings for that. But first of all we'll go around the chapel itself. And in all honesty there's nothing remarkable about that apart from this nice little well here which is obviously a ornament as opposed to an actual functioning well. The real beauty of this place comes when you take the next little, I couldn't call it an alleyway, tiny gorge I suppose, for like gorge. Before you see that there's a little shrine here. It's a very peaceful spot. You can come here if you just fancy. Tools. And there's a the cleaning stuff for the chapel, no doubt. There's even a tiny little cave. Right, I will change lenses now actually because that's quite dark. Okay, so we're now in nighttime mode. So it should be a bit blinding. 
start with, but you'll get a better view on the inside of this little cave. You have it some uh, icons. Around the other side, some more. As you can see them right here. Oh, and there's another one up in the wall there. Come out again. How's that for professionalism? Yeah, you could quite happily sit here for half an hour and just do nothing. Okay, get bored before half an hour's up, but you know what I mean. And the views though, when you come out, are absolutely stunning. And there's a little seating area up above that I'm going to walk through to finish the film. But uh, first of all, have a look in the chapel. So, switch lens again. It is a very, very small little chapel. Let's have a look in front of it. There's a bit of altar in there, so I'm not going to peek behind the curtain. Now, obviously places like this don't have a regular weekly service. They do have, uh, sometimes anyway, not every church. Like if it's a, the same day, they'll have a mass on that day. Whether that one does or not, I don't know. I do know it was very hot in there though. Anyway, let's get up to the top of the hill and we'll finish with a view. But that's the little chapel at the Mutalos Cliffs by the school. And they've just built a new stadium behind the school. If I fly the drone here, I'm in two minds at the moment, but if I do, you'll better see it. So I can get bubbled by flies now. Right, so we're at the top. Sorry, the camera overheated. So I'm going to be quick here. Yes, I have to quite understand people though. The whole point of this area is that it's supposed to uh, be a nice place to come and enjoy the view. So people come up here to enjoy the view and they just dump all their bloody rubbish here. They don't take it home with them. So this lovely viewpoint just becomes a complete bin and an eyesore. It's just... I mean, how idiotic must you be to do stuff like that? It's disgusting. People need to like really have a long, hard, serious think about what they consider to be important in their life. And if you want to be surrounded by crap, then keep on doing this. But. Uh, Look at this, it's just appalling. So, I was going to fly the drone in, but honestly I'm not that bothered about it now. People who come here to enjoy the view and leave their crap here are just completely moronic, selfish idiots. That's all you are. Anyway, there's Moodless Mosque in the distance. Anyway, sorry you end on the bum note, but there you have it. The chapel was nice. Cheers.